The technocratic elite control the EU and they're making the laws, making the decisions right now which are affecting each and every one of those countries. And today we will discuss how the Greeks will lose their pensions. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. I have some deep intel that I want to get into today. Let's look at this article first. Shut out of the debt markets and with aid from lenders from Frozen, Athens is in danger of running out of cash in the coming weeks as it faces 1.5 billion euro loan repayment to the IMF this month. So right here, this article is out of Reuters and we can see, we know that, you know, I've been covering it here, that Greece is in trouble right now. And they're of course not the only ones, but they are certainly under the spotlight for the moment. Greece is tapping into cash reserves of pension funds and public sector entities through repo transactions as it scrambles to cover its funding needs this month. Okay, so they're going in and actually dipping their hands into the pension funds in order to make up the shortfall. They're obviously very desperate and no government would want to do this, but in fact, this government here is dipping into the pension funds, the money that individuals need in order to survive. But here they are actually going ahead and doing what every other government around the world does, and that is take money from those who need it most. That's what I'm seeing right here, unfortunately. And the Troika is definitely having their grip around the government of Greece still. they This new government in Greece has been unable to shake them, at least for the time being. They are really, really in trouble as of this moment. Let's go on. IMF's director, Batista Greek, bailout was to save German and French banks. They gave money to save German and French banks, not Greece. That's Paolo Batista, one of the executive directors of the IMF. And he was on this uh, t uh, Alpha TV here, and he actually said that. Now, this is the case every single time. I wrote about it in my book, and how the individual is never going to receive the money. There's always bailout schemes that take place. They uh, encounter bail-ins. They increase taxation. They uh, have these levies that are taking place. They do everything that is possible, whether they do it by presidential decree or whether they run it through the Congress or the Parliament, depending on the country. And it doesn't do anything to actually improve the well-being of the citizens that happens every single, every single time. And here they are once again. They were forced into some sort of bailout that all that happened was give gave money to the German and the French banks, those big creditors. And of course, unfortunately, the Greek people didn't get a single penny. This is very, very terrible. And this right here is out of this uh, Greek news agency. Right at the top, Greek sold a billion euros of six-month treasuries on Wednesday, covering the amount they wanted to refinance. So right here, they're making up the shortfall in this, uh, obviously, this uh, little step-by-step -step baby steps that are happening along the way, and they are very in a very tight situation right now. Issuing T-bills is the only source of commercial borrowing for the leftist government, but the country's EU IMF creditors have set a 15 billion euro cap on such issues which has already been hit. So one of the things that uh, needs to be said is that they are really restricted on what they can do here. They are obviously in a tight situation, this new government, and what we will have to see what's going to happen. They're going to have to take some money. They're going to have to take more haircuts somewhere along the line. And people, the individuals, particularly in the lower class and the middle class, are going to be hurt by this. It's not a good sign. This is very interesting here. Out of Bloomberg, there's a corner of the pension world needs to brace itself for Mario Draghi. The ECB 1.1 trillion euro bomb buying program May, may have blown a 92 billion euro hole in the defined benefit pension plans by depressing bond yields. So we have them manipulating the system here. They go into the stock markets. They go into uh, all these different types of uh, markets that they have out there, the bond markets and treasuries and all this sort of thing. And they buy up shares. They buy up these supposed assets. And all that does is twist and turn and manipulate and contort everything that is 
stable within this environment it doesn't work. I could tell you that right now. And we're seeing what's happening right here in the EU. And if the actual start of the QE pushes yields further for longer, companies may have to take drastic measures to make ends meet and could face a hit to their credit ratings. Obviously, this is going to happen. They're going to continue with QE and they're going to, in fact, expand it further. The pension plans will be eradicated. Sure, you might get some money when it's time for you to have your check, but it's not going to be worth anything by then and that is frightening let's move on right here this is uh, not in the eu but i wanted to show you how this goes all around the world out of the wall street journal public pensions need gamblers anonymous retirement funds for illinois and california hold 75 percent risky investments the texas teachers plan 81 percent you think well, it's long term, I could take some risk, you know, a little bit of risk is okay, but here they are actually primarily holding risky investments. State and local pensions invest roughly twice as much in risky assets as would a prudent individual saving for retirement. They don't care about your money, they're using it squandering it in order to make more profit and it's the profit is for them not for you because by the time you got, go to take your money out it's going to be worthless confetti this is what they're doing all around the world they're squandering the money how much public money countries are spending on pensions you can see the different countries around the world italy obviously on top there greece is in a terrible situation portugal and other countries here this is a very, very difficult scenario for these countries because as they continue on to increase their debt load, the pensions are going to persist and become a bigger and bigger burden. Now, they could reduce the amount of money that they're paying in the pensions, but get ready for the riots on the streets. I'll get into that in a moment. From my book, I was talking about the derivatives, how they're expanding this debt to levels never seen before. This is literally never seen before. And right here, for those uh, individuals who don't believe they're in danger because they aren't in debt or don't invest, unfortunately, they will be taught a lesson. Globalization has unified all markets around the world. Your pension fund, the value of your home, and the price you pay for food are all linked together. That's why I do this channel. I'm trying to wake people up for them to realize, look, your money, you money you think is going to be there when you retire may very well not be there. They're already dipping into the pension funds. They have intragovernmental debt. For those who don't know how this works, you want to know about your social security? Look up the words intragovernmental debt. They steal money from the social security to use to drop bombs on countries. They're using it for all these different uses. And right here, it's not going to be available. Right now, the U.S. has over $5 trillion that they are willing to admit in intergovernmental debt. Where is this headed? I have a pretty good idea. Let's move on. Greece suspends professional football due to fears of crowd violence. Look at this lineup right here. This is just one example, of course. These police, we've seen them before inside of, uh, of Athens right here where we had the violence that took place only a few years ago. And surely this will happen, not again, not again, not just in Greece, but all around the world as the major cities begin to erupt and begin to burn in flames. And this is all because of the manipulation of the economic system. When your president, when your prime minister, your head of state starts making laws that are completely illegal, I assure you, you're going to have enough frustration from the people and they're going to take to the streets. And this is not a good sign. Look at this. Mired in financial troubles, Italian couple commits suicide. Very, very sad. Together, they had no more than 500 euros a month from her pension to live on. This is a situation that is growing. It's becoming an epidemic. People are in more and more and more debt. And guess what? It's getting worse. And that is just one example. I, I just want to move on. There's just one thing I just wanted to note. U.S. to deploy six National Guard companies to the Ukraine this week. 
This is out of Sputnik. And right here, U.S. 173rd Airborne. Michael Foster said that the Center for Strategic and International Studies said the U.S. would deploy personnel by the end of this week to train the Ukrainian National Guard. Your money is being used to kill. Your money is being used for all of the wrong reasons. This is the tax dollars of the U.S. being shipped over to all of these different countries, whether it's in the Middle East, in Eastern Europe, whether it's all the way in South Korea. They have bases in Africa, North Africa areas. We have basically in primarily every country. And if you think, look, that's the U.S. that's that problem. They're the warmongers. Why don't you take a look at your country and your finances for your particular country and find out how much they spend on military and look at what they do. Look at Canada. They were supposedly peacekeepers only a few years ago, and now they lead the pack in many cases for dropping bombs. They drop bombs on Libya, if I'm not mistaken, and they're really ready and willing to attack any country because the military industrial complex owns each and every one of these countries that's the way this works the individual governments don't have the power don't have control it is all run by a set of technocratic elite you can call them whatever you want elite globalists new world order whatever you want to choose for a name it doesn't matter there's some sort of higher power than the governments which are controlling all of this that's why they're taking money from the pension plans and nobody says anything that's why obama's allowed to write on a napkin and sign his name on the dot and there you go and, and put it through into law and this is a legal behavior that takes place they're able to take the military bring them overseas without asking the congress and they're able to be funded somehow even though the congress doesn't approve of it this is the type of thing that causes people to lose their minds and look at what's happening in Greece. This is the trigger point that we have been waiting for and it is not a good sign. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate all of the support each and every one of you have been giving me. I'm going to continue to bring out videos. I'm going to continue to bring out the educational information. Stay tuned because there is so much more coming from the Money GPS. I don't want to cover just the news. I want to make this a place that people can come to to learn about about finance, learn about the government system, how they set it up, how the bankers have destroyed everything that is in our future, all because of their desire not only to profit but of course to control the masses so i'm going to create programs that are available for everybody on this channel and of course this channel will remain free i'm going to try to bring out a video every single day and it's going to be educational it's going to be informative and i know that you appreciate that now that was the ramblings of uh, david quintieri here and i'd like to uh, interest you in this the money gps insiders it's where i give it all my best intel for free and that is available at themoneygps.com you just scroll down to the bottom fill in your email address and you get occasional emails from me with good short concise info 